Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a contemporary singing specialist based in Australia. And today I will be reacting to Nea Bliviscaris and Plague Flowers, The Kaleidoscope, which was requested in my 100K live stream. So let's, let's just, let's dive on in and, and see what we hear. So as I said before, we are Nail Blue Viscaris. We come all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Uh -huh. We haven't wanted to come here to the Good US for so long, and it's just absolutely amazing to have so many of you here and really see us. So thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate it. We have one more song for you guys tonight, but before we get into that, over in that back corner over there is uh, our merch desk, and about five minutes after this show, we're gonna be hanging out over there. So please come have a drink with us, say hello, and we will do our best to come back and see you guys again as soon as we can. Okay. Oh, all right. Wow. Okay. A couple of things to talk about so far. The violin at the beginning. There were so many different flavors coming through with that violin. In the beginning, we got some distortion, scratchy stuff on the strings. And there was almost a metallic quality that came through in one part of what he was playing as well. And then we got something that sounded like it could be uh, maybe from like the classical world. And then it settled, at least for me, dominantly, it settled into something that I would probably more likely hear in your like gypsy jazz type of uh, violin, the jazz fiddle. Um, it kind of sounds like that, but I don't know if that's because of the way he was playing or because of the music that was going on behind him really kind of gave me that feeling as well. So wow, really interesting things that he's doing on the violin there to open, cool. The first thing that indicated to me that we might be playing with some time signatures was what he was doing on the violin over what their guitarist, the guitarist to the left of him, was doing time-wise. Just And then the kit came in. This is not written in 4-4. This sounds like it's in 5-4, meaning we have that extra beat at the end. And I think the first time you hear a 5-4, it can be a little uncomfortable to have that added beat there at the end, but it certainly makes for some interesting musical uh, choices in particular what the drummer is doing when they start playing with how they're dividing that time time wise this is sounding really cool let's just count that time together shall we this here 
here where they're just like leaving what feels like what we've just been set up to sit in and they're doing something completely different over that time. So uh, this is really cool. And anyway, we're gonna keep going. We've just come in on the head banging. It looks like our, what I'm assuming is the vocalist is getting ready. He's, he's ready to go. And then they all just start head banging. Okay, let me find it. <laughs> it's almost like there, you expected me to sing psych, head bang. just happened I was okay I didn't know what my ear wanted to listen to it wanted to listen to the fry screaming it also wanted to listen to those insane sustains that he just managed beautifully it also wanted to listen to the fact that the drummer is like changing things up like every so often from the really really fast uh kicks to to a completely different part of the kit wait it's just ah okay we, we have to go back so we have this fry scream that's coming in from Mr. Black Hair Everywhere And then fantastically sustained vowels from our lead here. Notice how his body is very planted and he's trying, it looks like he's trying not to interfere with the uh, continued propagation of that vowel, if you will. Look at his body language. Cool. So the screamer's doing some cool stuff. It all seems to be fairly high, like like a higher fry scream. But let's listen to this kid as well. something different on the kick we no longer have that like machine gun speed going on the kick drum there and then our violins come back in wow okay that really fast speed reminds me of uh the demolisher reaction that i did where the, i thought it was fast and then the drummer was like hold my beer and it was like Brrr. it was like super fast anyway cool 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 we're in with the violin now Some lower tonality there on that scream. Goodness, that's significantly lower than where he was before.
change they have, that they change the feel. They have this feel change. <laughs> oh, they've had like a few now. So now we're almost in this like, it feels like it's going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three. Could be 12, eight. Could be six, eight. God, I'm, yeah. Whew. they've changed their head banging style before it was very front and now I've got more of that windmill that floor is well known for with this particular screamer I'm not seeing quite as much physical engagement under the sound that I've seen in some of the other screamers that we've listened to on this channel in particular the one that I think of perhaps because it was a more aggressive song and he seems to be a more aggressive performer but Alex Terrible his physical connection to his body is it's it's like fully present you can actually see it in every single movement that he does and that time I didn't see as much happening underneath from that particular uh, screamer but there is something to bear in mind there people who are particularly slender sometimes won't get as much of an expansion through their belly or their ribs as naturally it's it's something that I've come across in quite a few of my students and clients and like different people of different sizes different bodies might react to that like a full diaphragm breath a little differently so you know that might mean that it's not as easy to see as someone who say my body shape, which is a squishy ginger dumpling, a little easier to see on me than it is on someone who's like super slender to see that full diaphragm distending, ribs coming out, and then um, obviously the belly expanding as well. So, you know, it's not a criticism. It's just an observation that you can't see it as easily. So just something to bear in mind. All right, we're going to keep on going.
I love how varied the dancing is in, in metal. It's like some people are super aggressive and some people have like a little hip coming up. That's <laughs> it's 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 great. Some people are like, I'm just going to move my body like an electrified eel. And that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly suitable to move however you want. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that speed definitely reminds me of of when the drummer in Demolisher shocked the heck out of me with the speed at which he was um, hitting the kick drum. Drummers, let me know. Do you ever go to like a masseuse and just go just the calves, please? And then they like just find knots like all the way up the back of your calves. Because when I'm watching that, it looks like his legs are so relaxed. And yet in my mind, that action, if I'm moving my legs, my calves are like this. Walk me through it. Walk me through it, drummers. intense slip it's like he's like oh yeah headbang <laughs> gosh how do you even write music like this like you've got different time signature changes yes but you also have so many different feel changes how do you even write this kind of music where within the space of 12 minutes you're going to play with all these different feels and for it to actually segue one into the next without seeming broken or haphazard or like awkward like this is so cool and I must admit I'm liking the contrast between the screamer and the clean vocals. I think it sounds really interesting and cool. Did, yeah, it kind of shocked me in the beginning. For some reason, I was expecting the guy with the black hair to be coming out with the clean vocals and I, I don't know, backing vocals from our introduction friend who did the speaking to the audience. But regardless, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna stop rambling, damn.
smiley. <laughs> Adorable. Okay. I have, a, I have a question. A question for you guys. Has anyone seen someone try to crowd surf and then the people have just dropped them? Has that been a thing? I'm interested. I'm interested in your experiences because I'm sure most of you have been to a hell of a lot more metal concerts than I have. So I'd be really interested to, to know, have you ever seen someone dropped before? Uh, anyway, this was really interesting. We had lots of different musical themes going on. I'd probably love to break this down with, say, someone who is more musically inclined. I might go and see if Chase has done a reaction to this particular song and see his insights on some of the musical elements because like I said earlier there are so many variations of what they're actually doing even from the beginning starting in 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four is not an accident. 5-4 <laughs> four doesn't just feel comfortable so you just do it okay. 5-4 feels pretty uncomfortable to sing and play in until you adjust and get used to 5-4. Five, four. So 5-4 five, four is not an accident. So for them to start in 5-4 and then to bring us into all these different feels throughout this particular piece. That's really, really cool to be going on that little musical journey. Like I said earlier, I really liked the duality between the two vocalists. The guy with the clean vocals was really, really solid. The way that he stood in order to be able to get those vowels to continue, it was like he didn't want to interrupt anything by causing any needless tension in his sound. And even when he was ascending up through his range, albeit we didn't see a whole massive amount of range demonstrated in this particular song it definitely seems to be very this is the music and the music is like yay music this is what we're doing musically let's just get into the groove and feel out the music kind of thing um even when he was going up though he still had this twangy stable consistent quality to his voice so it sounded pretty cool contrasting against our screamer who was using fry screams and I think at one point, I wasn't sure if it was a fry scream taken down lower or if he had some false fold stuff happening in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure on a lot of the harsh or extended vocal techniques just yet. So I am learning about them, but you're kind of like on the journey with me, if you will, um, as far as those harsh vocal effects or extended vocal techniques are concerned. I could hear the fry scream coming from him in the beginning and then he did some lower it sounded like a lower pitch stuff. So I wasn't sure if that was just a lower fry scream or if he was using his false folds down there or a combination of both. I have, I do know that some people use like, it's like a, a combo of different things. So they'll have like, like a layer of different vocal effects on top of the other. It's, it's really cool. Anyway, um, this was really musically interesting. I enjoyed the little musical journey that it took us on, liked the contrast between the two vocalists. I thought the creativity from the uh, guitarist when he was doing his little finger style solo was really, really cool. I also liked when the bass got a moment to shine because sometimes I feel like our bass players, they don't get their own moment to just be like, I'm bassy and this is my bass. Overall, this was really musically cool. I enjoyed watching this. I think it's awesome that they're from Melbourne. Woo! Yeah, Aussies. Um, and just the duality between the music and the fact that you got like the guy who's like, all in black, black hair, like almost like moves like he's possessed when he's on stage. <laughs> and then we've got Smiley. He's like this on stage. It's so, it's so cool. I really enjoyed watching this. Anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, click the subscribe button and the bell notification set to all if you'd like more videos just like this one. As usual, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you are staying healthy and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> anyway, so...